Hello everyone, if you're watching this, this I am currently in, in Kawari right now, so with this in mind, here is a pre-recorded Pokemon Journeys vlog. These last few ones got me wrapping up, up Volume 2 I decided, and now I'll just start fresh in June. We're going to have to come back with Volume 3, so here we have Episode 21. Came for a mystery, so let's begin. So, this time around, the assignment revolves around Pokemon eggs and on top of Go catching Execute through a series of unique events. And Ash comes into the possession of Riolu egg, egg, and this markings actually kind of resemble like the 10k markings of Pokemon Go, which is another Easter egg I appreciate. And on top of this, before that happens, he moves up the ranks with Hayden and no relation to the guy who played Anakin, I believe. And while Pikachu, who's injured being treated at the Pokemon Center for winning after he wins the match, actually gets the egg. His dragon is still quite lovey, even holding back around the egg for it hatches. Also, in later parts of the episode, after the egg hatches and the Riolu quite literally sweeps him off his feet with vacuum wave, wave, him sensing aura does technically mean that there's a percentile in the Pearl series was the 8th movie or still canon. Following the new hatch into the night, right, and leading him in, in battle, it shows how even before her or these you know, things progressing further, it's clear how powerful this this monster is, and why, as I mentioned before, given how it evolves in my favorite Pokemon, on I'm very glad to have this in my roster, or so. You'll forgive me if I do not patch up any ch future chances to gush about this, as I'm known to, or so. It's like, like it's kind of. A way to help the infamy of the Unival League be bygones, main on between that doofus Cameron, and given how he he blundered into his Riolu who doesn't even respect him, whereas as he as Ash proves his worth and as he will train his about himself all the time. So long story short, he catches the Riolu and. He adds it to his roster. Her. So, I will say that even though it's not a conventional approach, which I still really appreciate how the same I decided to say, and that was something completely different. So, as if I have not made clear, given my love for this monster line, and also for arguably this being my favorite hatch and capture of his since his fan fee later becoming a Dom fan. And this is definitely one I enjoy talking about. Uh, especially since it's one of the last ones we were able to complete before everything happened. Though still there were details that did not become apparent until much later on. On that being the case where here the they still managed to make at least in my eyes, a fairly entertaining series, which took some big swings that I actually appreciated as an online fan. And even with knowing what lies ahead. So, stuff that you'd be up for continuing the next episode, which you would see tomorrow. So, take care everyone. Mm.